Ivan Golak led Dundee United to the Scottish Cup for the first time in their history. And he'll be famously remembered for taking his players to smell the flowers in a local park in the build-up to the game. Now 70 and back in Serbia, he's still as laid back as ever and believes his countrymen should take a leaf out of his book and chill out ahead of the game. Logically, you know, when you're at home, it's, it's already pressure on you or imperative, you've got to win. And sometimes, as we know, when you've got to win, it, that's, that's the hardest, obviously, way to do it, you know. Just uh, what I've been working always, take a pressure from the players. Every game is equal importance, so, so that is not most important, you know, the, 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 the less important games. While Steve Clark's side have gone eight games unbeaten, Serbia haven't won a game inside 90 minutes in almost a year. And Golak's expecting it to go all the way tomorrow night. I know what the Scottish players are capable of. I know the quality, ability, the way of thinking, uh, you know, just uh, bravery, dignity, hard, hard work, you know, just a lot of talents. So I know that uh, Scotland will give 120 percent definitely and that's what I said you know you, you got to prepare yourself for the game which lasts 120 minutes plus. The Raikou Mittic Stadium home to Red Star Belgrade is the venue for the big game. Normally noisy and hostile it will be eerily quiet tomorrow night. The Red Star Stadium is, is a big and wonderful football stadium really and which used to be you know just for 120,000 I played with Patrick Belgrade against Red Star. It was the local derbies and it was a fantastic. But imagine 120,000 and 50 people on the ground today. That's not the same. Cannot be. While Scotland might not follow Golak's lead and go for a walk in the park, here's hoping they'll be coming up roses tomorrow night.